Hi, my name is Luca Napoli and I'm a consultant for industry solutions at MongoDB. In this video, we'll see how insurers can streamline the claim adjustment process with AI, easily comparing photos using a vector database, saving time and enhancing accuracy. Let's get started. When an accident occurs, a car crash for instance, insurance companies need to determine the payout for their customer, which in the industry is usually referred to as a loss amount. This process is carried out by the claim adjuster and it is typically done by hand. The adjuster has to gather all the information necessary to determine the entity of the damage. This means searching for insurance guidelines, related photos, accident notes, contracts and more. The documents are usually contained in several different systems and repositories, making the quest slow and error prone. As the adjuster might forget or miss a piece of relevant information, which results in an accurate loss amount estimation and a potential loss for the company. In addition to that, some of the data can be unstructured, which makes it difficult to index and search. Just think of how hard it is to find information in PDFs, audio files or videos. Today, we'll see how MongoDB helps insurance companies speed up the process thanks to Atlas Vector Search. Claim adjustment can be streamlined in three steps, with a growing level of complexity and delivering value at each step of the journey. Leveraging the document model, adopting vector search, and lastly by building a regular augmented generation system or RAG in brief. Let's go through each of them. The first step is to store our claim data in a MongoDB collection. In this example, our document contains information about the claim, such as the loss amount, some notes about the accident, and the reference to the photo. Now the data is easy for applications to access and query. Let's now move on to adding Atlas Vector Search to the mix. This MongoDB feature lets us index and query arrays. The first thing we need to do is create a vector search index. The slide shows how to configure it in the Atlas UI. It's as simple as editing a JSON where we specify the dimension of the array to be indexed, the similarity measure we want to use, and the name of the field that contains our vectors. After the index creation, we need to generate the embeddings of our photos. This is done by passing our pictures to an embedder that will convert our files to vectors that represent the objects in a vector space. This process is external to MongoDB and can be performed with a model of choice of the user. Ultimately, the vectors are stored back into our collection. We see how the schema has been augmented with a field name embedding, which contains the vector representation of the image that our model generated. At the end of the video, we'll jump into code examples and we'll see how this works in practice. At this stage, we have created the search index and stored our vectors into the collection, and we are ready to query the data. As shown in the diagram, the first thing we need to do is vectorize the query image and pass it to Atlas. The query syntax is also shown later on when we'll go through the code. So we have interrogated Atlas and boom, we got five images back as the answer. The most similar images to our query image representing the closest thing to a damaged windshield we have stored in our collection. This is a very different kind of response we're used to getting from a database, which is typically an exact answer to our query. If, for instance, I ask MongoDB to return me all the person whose names start with A, I get all the documents corresponding to that, precisely that, not names of people that are similar to that. This is the fundamental difference between exact queries and vector search which will return objects that are semantically similar. This opens the door to many new use cases. If something can be vectorized, now we can query it. So now we can leverage unstructured data that was previously sitting in object storage without much utility. This wireframe showcases how this technology can be embedded in a business process. An adjuster can upload the image of an accident whose loss amount is to be determined. The system quickly pulls all the similar pictures and lists them along with other relevant information that was stored in the collection. The process is much faster now, as the adjuster can get an overview of comparable claims without having to comb through disparate systems and repositories. And finally, the third step of the journey, retrieval augmented generation. This flow is not part of this demo, but we believe it is important to mention it. And don't worry, in the MongoDB website, you can find tutorials and guides to implement it if you're interested. A quick primer on RAG. Retrieval augmented generation is the process of providing contextual information to a large language model, or LLM, which is usually trained with publicly available information and doesn't have access to our organization's proprietary data. This approach is incredibly powerful as it allows us to ask complex questions about our data in natural language 
thus democratizing access to it. Here we can see the different components of the flow and how they relate to each other. The user writes a question in natural language. The question is vectorized and routed to Atlas Vector Search, which returns the most semantically similar documents stored in the database. Those documents are then passed to the LLM as context. The LLM is now able to process the data and get back to the user with an answer in natural language. We depicted this interaction in this wireframe, showcasing a user asking questions about accidents to an LLM-powered chatbot. The model is able to answer and make calculations on the contextual data it was provided with. Let's finally jump into the code and see how vector search works in practice. So let's have a look at the code. In this first block of the notebook, we see the embedder class definition. Receiving a photo's input, it generates its vector representation. We're using SqueezeNet, a PyTorch model that's publicly available and ready to use. In the second block, we download our dataset from a hiking phase repository. It contains photos of car accidents. In this step, we define two functions that will help us visualize the photos in a convenient way. After that, we connect to MongoDB Atlas. At this point, we need to go to the web UI and create the vector search index. In the following block, we generate the vector embedding for each picture in our dataset and store it in our Atlas collection alongside existing fields. We're finally ready to query our database. Here, I simply downloaded the damaged windshield photo from Google and added it to my project folder. I'm now ready to run my query. The image is first vectorized and then used as input to the vector search. I execute the block and the magic happens. On the top, we display the query image and at the bottom, we get our results. The five most similar images in our dataset. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Industry Solutions team or just look at the description of the video.